मेजर्स ऑफ वेरिएशन वेरियंस एंड स्टैंडर्ड डिविशन सो द वेरियंस इज द एवरेज ऑफ द स्क्वेयर ऑफ द डिस्टेंस इच वैल्यू फ्रॉम इट्स मीन द सिम्बल फॉर द पॉपुलेशन वेरियंस इज सिग्मा स्क्वेयर वे सिग्मा इज द ग्रीक लेटर एंड इट इज नोन एज लोअर सिग्मा एंड दिस इज द लोअर केस लेटर सिग्मा एंड द फॉर्मूला फॉर द पॉपुलेशन वेरियंस इज एक्स माइनस म्यू होल स्क्वेयर सिग्मा ओवर इट एंड बाई कैपिटल एन इट विल बी डिनोटेड बाई सिग्मा स्क्वेयर सो दिस इज नोन एज पॉपुलेशन वेरियंस वेयर एक्स इज द इंडिविजुअल वैल्यू म्यू इज द पॉपुलेशन मीन एंड कैपिटल एन इज डिनोटिंग द पॉपुलेशन साइज द स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन इज द स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ द वेरियंस सो द सिम्बल फॉर द पॉपुलेशन स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन इज सिग्मा सो द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग फॉर्मूला फॉर द स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन विल बी इन केस ऑफ पॉपुलेशन दैट इज सिग्मा इज इकल टू सिग्मा स्क्वेयर स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ दैट इज इकल टू दिस एक्सप्रेशन विल रिमेन द सेम ऑनली द स्क्वेयर रूट विल बी कमिंग बट इन केस ऑफ इन केस ऑफ सैम्पल इफ आई इफ आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द रेस्पेक्टिव वेरियंस इयर then this in case of sample it will be denoted by s square because s will be there for the sample s square and here it will be having small n minus 1 where small n is denoting the sample size so here that denominator will be having small n minus 1 so similarly the s square will be having the square root so the standard deviation in case of population will be denoted by small s and here it will be small n minus 1 in place of capital n so let us suppose if the x values are 35 45 30 35 and 40 25 so these are the values we are having so how many values we are having we are having these six values and then at first we are supposed to calculate the the mean so in that case the mean has been calculated and it it has been found as 35 so now here we are calculating this x minus mu so 35 minus 35 45 minus 35 in this way the values will get calculated then we shall go for the square of that so x minus mu whole square so here we are having the respective squares so now if you go on the addition if you go on for the summation we are getting 250 here so this is my variance so in that case 250 by 6 so 41.7 if i want to calculate the respective standard deviation so it will become 41.7 square root or square root of that it will become 6.5 so hence the standard deviation is 6.5 in this way we have calculated so now you can find that i'm just making one summary in the previous video we found what is the range which is also the measures of variation so that is our range so distance between the highest value and the lowest value and it can be represented by capital r and in case of variance that is the average of the squares of the distances the that each value is from the mean so here in case of population it will be expressed as sigma square in case of sample it will be a square in case of standard deviation that is the square root of the variance so in case of population it will be sigma and in case of sample it will be denoted by small s so in this particular video we have discussed how to calculate variance and the standard deviation and what are the different expressions of them in population and also in case if we apply them them in case of sample thanks for watching this video